Hi everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate tracking error. So let's start. First, we are going to import libraries. Import numpy as np. Import pandas underscore data reader as web let's run this data is equal to web dot data reader here we are going to pass the name of this talk and we also need benchmark since tracking error always calculated against benchmark so we are going to calculate it for snp okay. then data source which is yahoo so in the upcoming video i'm planning to uh make a video or download a data instead of download basically use excel file so instead i mean in case if we don't have uh, internet or if we have any issue with connectivity and if we have data available uh in excel so how we can use it so i will do that as well okay so we have start which is first first 2020 then we have end date which is 12 31 2020 then we are going to take adjusted closing price let's run this let's check the data nice so we have apple price we have s and 500 index price okay so we need to calculate daily return so let me just put the formula for tracking error so tracking error is equal to standard deviation of stock return minus benchmark return. So here we have our daily stock prices uh, along with daily benchmark. So what we're gonna do is we will create a new column called stock return and it will be equal to data apple dot percentage change so just press tab and you will get the suggestion if there is more than one or if it's only one so it will directly come so okay and then data of bench underscore return which is equal to data of s and p 500 dot percentage change let's run this now let's check the data now nice so we have stock return we have benchmark return great so now we need to calculate tracking error <clears throat> uh there's two way so i'll show you both the ways first i can create a data series here called te is equal to data stock return minus data bench return so let's check the series again Okay, so we have tracking error here. All we need to do here is TE is equal to 
data dot te dot std standard deviation let's run this so te will be okay let me multiply it with 100 so it will appear in percentage so 1.66 percent so if you want annualized tracking error what all we need to do is we need to multiply it with square root of 252 so let's run this 26 percent great another way is instead of uh, creating a new column or uh, a data series all we can do is data stock return minus data benchmark return put it under bracket dot std so same we can also multiply it with 100 just to for presentation purposes okay so even we can also uh, analyze it here. So all we need to do is multiply it with np dot sqrt of 252. Perfect. Similarly, if you want to calculate for more than one stock, we can just simply add it here. And then we need to do the same process for Facebook as well. So we need to calculate daily return for Facebook. Here we have to assign obviously a name because uh, stock return will be similar. And then what will happen if we are going to calculate Apple return and after that if we are going to calculate Facebook. So what will happen? It will uh, overwrite in this return. So all we need to do is we just need to calculate uh, or put the name basically uh, Apple or Facebook or Amazon or whatever stock we want, so, but it should be in a different way. It will be easy for benchmark. It's fine because we are going to use only one benchmark. So we can use this one as it is. And the process will remain same for the calculation. So hope it is clear for you and hope it will be helpful. So if you have any query, any comments, just feel free to uh, comment below and if you have any suggestions, please uh, do let me know. Please like and subscribe my channel.